So Taylor's Folly, welcome from Surrey, Canada. Well, thank you very much. It's so great to be here, and thank you so much for having us on the show. Let's introduce yourselves. Tell us, tell us your names and what you play. My name is Lawrence Knight. I play bass. I'm Bruce. I do lots of stuff. I sing and play. I'm Nolan Murray, and I play the fiddle, mandolin, and sing bass vocals. Eric, and I strum a guitar and play some mandolin. See, you see how demonstrative they are in just their explanations of what they do? That's what these guys are like. We they kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> You do kick yeah, ass. You, you had the entire crowd on their feet the entire time, which is why, which is exactly what you guys are going to do at Kells tonight. Now, I understand you're going to be back here on New Year's Eve. That's right. We're going to be here the Friday and Saturday of New Year's Eve, so, and we're going to have our live DVD CD compilation, brand new number four product then. Well, our music is a little bit more uh, structured around heavy wood. Uh, very heavy wood, and we do a How Oregonian of you. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm from Oregon, so i got to be very <laughs> Oregonian. Uh, we do uh, heavy uh, acoustic roots music, which uh, encompasses a lot of varieties of music. On the sun, Warren looks by the river Will he day Counting in my shoes I lay down on the shore My heart stricken so Shake off bag of bone blues What's the biggest misperception about Canadians? Oh, man. That we Yanks have? Uh, maybe that it snows a lot there. It never really snows where I'm from. No, it rains where you're at. <laughs> yeah, always raining. It never snows in Canada? Uh, not where I'm from, pretty much. That we all play hockey? That we all like hockey? And that you're polite. No, you, know, you said that we're polite. I, I don't, no, 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 no. We, we, lo we love hockey. He loves hockey. We just won the World Cup, and we're very proud of that. And now there is no hockey, so we're all in slight mourning. So that gives us more time to make CDs and DVDs. And do music. And do music. And speaking of your music, you got your variety is incredibly diverse. You yeah. go from the Irish jigs to pop tunes, yeah. which I was very impressed with. Will someone take a poison? Will I let it stay? I've known a street with either one of us and done the same. There's those who have my sympathy, no matter who they are. Now, poor pathetic creatures drinking water at the bar. Now, oh, then I take a ribbing if he ordered up some tea. Some in shot for whiskey, well, it's not a drink for me. I'll take my pint of their only pies, no matter near a bar. But there's nothing so peculiar drinking water at the bar. But there's others who wouldn't cross the street and there's a takes their pains. Some will take permitted fruit, others hops and grains. From a drunkard to the pious man who never took the jar. There's nothing so peculiar drinking water at the bar. Well, I might forgive a man to be by chance and robbed a bank. Or a captain who the sheer neglect allowed his ship to sink. I can understand the fortunate men are forced to steal a car. But there's simply no excuse for drinking water at the bar. When there's colas and the sodas from the rafters to the floor. There's coffee and there's cocktails with a smarty else galore. There's drinks of all description, so it strikes me as bizarre. And they no imagination drinking water at the bar. Tell us how you got to know Tillis Folly. Actually, I was living in Eastern Oregon, met the fiddle player, became good friends, and the guy started staying in my house. Hey! A great Celtic player with just a lot of personality. A lot of fun to watch. Everyone's having a good time, you know, dancing, drinking. Celtic folk rock combination. They are, they've got great songwriting, good music put together, and they can bring it into a crowd and bring it to life. It's fantastic. So let all great folk upon this earth unite in one decree. But it's nothing short of blasphemous, and I'm sure the Pope agrees. No matter how much you thought your chances were so far, they can never get to heaven drinking water at the bar. But there's those who wouldn't cross the street and then they take some pain. Some will take the limited fruit, others hopes and drink. From a drunker to the pious man and never tell the jar. There's nothing so peculiar drinking water at the bar. There's those who wouldn't cross the street and they take the pain. Some will take from the limited fruit, but others hopes and drink. 